In this lesson, we'll focus on painting some additional details for both the pants and the outer shirt. All right, fantastic. So this is kind of where we're at. Uh, we are still missing some important details in the pants that are visible here in uh, uh, when we actually show all the geometry here. So um, you can see there is kind of this area around the crotch that is still missing some detail that is typical of a pair of jeans. So let me go ahead and again hide the unselected. And if we look here in the back, there's typically a seam that runs uh, kind of up the uh, um, center of the backside here. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring this guy over. But I'm not going to do this on my denim base layer. I'm just going to make a new layer here and call this, uh, let's just call this denim detail. And I'm going to go ahead and maybe shift plus to make that a little more opaque. So we can kind of see exactly the size of this. Yeah, we could probably just select this particular shell right here to do this with. So uh, we'll come over here. Let me shrink that down just a bit. Shift minus sign just to make it a little more transparent. And I'm going to put that seam right in here. Just like so. Alright, great. So we can go in with our eraser at this point and just kind of feather away at it if we need to. Should be pretty good though. We'll go and bake that down and see what that looks like. Pretty happy with that overall. We shouldn't have the camera zoomed in too much on that area back there. Um, now, this particular area right here is going to be covered by the shirt, but typically that seam would stop. There's going to be typically another seam over here that uh, kind of defines where the belt is going to sit. And if we orbit around here to the front, you can kind of see the beginning of that seam right here. Now, we're not going to see the belt based on his outfit. We're not going to see belt loops. Uh, but I would like to go ahead and continue this seam on over here so we can kind of define this area right around here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab this particular image here. Let me shift plus sign a few times. We're just going to borrow this seam and just kind of continue this on over. Maybe sort of like that, maybe a little bit larger to match up. We'll go ahead and brush that in. Just like so. Now that's going to need some slurping, so we'll come over and grab our slurp tool. Just kind of begin to slurp this into place. Also want to kind of slurp it down a little bit here because of the curvature of the pants. So we'll come in and do something sort of like that. And, you know, I can't really see over here. Let me hit the home key and hide these palettes on the right. And that's matching up pretty well. Yep. One thing you need to remember about the uh, slurp tool is when you undo after you've used it, it's going to undo all of your slurping here. That's kind of a, kind of a, uh, a nuisance sometimes, but if you just remember that one little detail about using the undo with the slurp tool, uh, rather than hitting control Z, as uh, many of us are accustomed to doing, what you might do is come over here and change the mode to erase, and that'll allow you to erase with the slurp tool areas that you've slurped, and it doesn't erase the pixels, but it erases them back to their undeformed state. So. Just a tip there. I think that uh, you probably saw me just at force of habit hit the uh, control Z key. And I think many artists are just kind of accustomed to hitting that. So uh, let's go ahead and bring our palettes back with the home key. Grab our other image here with the seam in it. Shrink this guy down. I'm going to kind of start to define, if you will, the, uh, the seam along kind of the inseam here. This is where the zipper, there's actually, if you look here, there's actually some ambient occlusion um, and some sculpted detail there in the normal map. That's where kind of the pants fold over on itself and you can see the buttons that would be fastening it there. So uh, I want to zoom out just a little bit and we're going to drop in this seam right here. Just like so. Again, we're going to need to use our slurp tool to bring that into position. Probably need to use our eraser a little bit on it as well. We're going to kind of just let that kind of highlight the detail on the normal map there. Just like so. Grab my eraser with the E key. 
Just kind of clean up the edges there before we go ahead and bake that down. That looks pretty good. And let's go ahead and grab the paint through tool again with the U key. And we're going to put another side on this seam. Typically that kind of runs sort of like this. Now this is going to be a tricky one to paint because it's a curved seam. Typically this curves sort of like this. So we're going to need to kind of position this vertically. And we'll just start to paint that in kind of like so. But right about here, I'm going to stop painting through that. And I'm going to start to curve this. Kind of match it up. We're going to try and curve this as best we can here. Just sort of like that. Just kind of working its way over to uh, the other seam. Right about there. That should work pretty well. So uh, let me go ahead and grab my eraser tool, make sure there's nothing we need to clean up here. Shrink it down a little bit with that R key. And that should work pretty well. Uh, pretty happy with that seam. Now, uh, to kind of finish off the pants here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some buttons. And to do this, we're going to grab our paint tool. And for this, let's just go ahead and maybe stick with the default brush here. Now, there's some sculpted detail there. It's kind of hard to see, but um, there's three buttons here. And what we could do is maybe just come in and grab kind of a gold color to start with. Maybe something a little bit warmer. Maybe something like that. I'll just shrink my brush down. And I'm going to come in and just sort of paint in where I see those buttons to be. So uh, we're just going to paint kind of a circular shape here. Now this is kind of an important technique because this is going to be the same technique we're going to use for the shirt buttons as well here in just a moment. So uh, we're kind of working to pull out that sculpted detail a little bit with some painted detail. I think that'll work pretty well for the most part. So let's go ahead and bake that. And we're going to come in here at this point using my J key again. And I'm going to grab a little darker color, a little less saturated, a little warmer. This is going to be kind of a shadow color. So we'll shrink my brush down even a little bit more. I'm just going to kind of run that around this edge right here. Now this is kind of uh, me faking some ambient occlusion, if you will. So we'll start with this color, and we may actually go a little bit darker even yet. So let's kind of start there. But before I bake that, I'm going to come in and grab even a lighter color. So if I want to sample that original color, I can just hold the C key, and that'll grab the eyedropper. We can come in and maybe paint a little bit of a specular highlight kind of along the upper edge right here. Sort of like that. Now we're going to have a little bit of that, uh, that normal map and that ambient occlusion that's already in this project interfering on that center button. But um, I think you kind of see what I'm getting at here. We're basically coming in and painting these buttons. So uh, let me come in and use the C key again. We'll sample one of these colors. Come in and go even a little bit darker. What I might do is come in and sample one of these colors in the texture around that. that maybe that dark blue. And let's go and desaturate it and darken it a little bit. And then we'll hit kind of the bottom edge here. Like those buttons are casting a little bit of a shadow onto the denim itself. It's looking pretty good. Might even go even a hair darker. All right, we'll go ahead and bake that down. And I think to finish these off, I'd like to come in and maybe hit these uh, with a little bit warmer, a little more saturated color here, just kind of in the center. Just kind of come in and darken those up a bit. Seems a little bit pale, a little bit desaturated to me. So we'll come in kind of with a nice middle value here. Just kind of hit the center. And we can zoom out and you can kind of see what those buttons are looking like. So those look pretty good. Now, again, we can do this same exact technique for the shirt. But to do that, we need to come over here and reveal the shirt with a show all. And we'll come in and select this particular, uh, this particular shell right here. And let's go ahead and make a new paint layer. We'll call this something like 
uh, shirt detail. Now for the shirt detail, again, we've got some really faint sculpted buttons here that we could come in and paint. So uh, what I would do is choose a color. Maybe we choose something like this. Go, eh, let's go a little bit more yellow and a little bit lighter in value. Kind of pick out a light color for these buttons. We'll just kind of zoom in and paint a couple of these. It's the exact same technique. So uh, basically choosing kind of a base color for the button. That's actually pretty pretty light. Let me come in and darken that up just a bit. Maybe something like that. We could come in here, maybe choose be a little warmer, a little more, a little darker for kind of a shadow color. Now, at some point, you're going to start to run out of resolution. So, um, if you can't get a pixel perfect line, don't worry about it. It's, uh, you're probably zoomed in too far. So, uh, let's come in here, maybe hit with a, a little bit of a highlight. And we'll come in and just kind of touch some things up here. Maybe come in with our eraser and kind of shave this shadow back just a little bit. All right, great. So uh, I've got one of the buttons in the shirt painted. Uh, we've got a lot of the buttons in the pants painted as well. Um, something else that jumps out at me here is these sculpted pockets. I think that we could probably do a little bit uh, of justice to them just simply by maybe sampling one of these colors, coming in and desaturating it and darkening it, and maybe grabbing this super soft brush, just kind of running it around and creating some... Uh, basically some additional ambient occlusion here. So uh, I'm actually using my eraser. Let me switch to my pa uh, paint tool using the P key. Grab that same brush again here. And I'm just going to come in and start to darken kind of this area here. Now I'm kind of over painting it, so uh, you probably don't want to go this dark. Uh, but what I can do before I bake that down is grab my eraser and we can start to feather that back a little bit. Sort of like that, just to make that pocket protrude a little bit more. All right, fantastic. So that's looking really good. I'll go ahead and do the pocket on the other side as well as the rest of the buttons on his shirt in between lessons. But I want to go ahead and spend one more lesson kind of focusing on his clothing, with the exception of his shoes, of course. Um, the jeans, as of right now, feel very, very new. Almost too new. Um, I, more than likely, these are not jeans that uh, you would ever see somebody wearing because the style nowadays is to have them distressed. As a matter of fact, these pockets are distressed and we need to create a little bit of that distressing on the pants themselves as well as maybe even a little bit of color correction. So we'll go ahead and handle that in our next lesson.